there, I'm Kit, I'm literate, and I sort of read The Ship Beyond Time by Heidi Heilig, but not 100%, and I wanted to talk about that. If you're watching this review on YouTube, there is a written review of it on my website as well that I will link to in the description, just in case you're not a fan of listening and you'd rather read something. There is a specific version for that as well. So, The Ship Beyond Time is the sequel to The Girl From Everywhere by Heidi Heilig. And I enjoyed The Girl From Everywhere. Um, I really enjoyed the characters. I found the middle point of that book to be somewhat boring, but the ending really made up for it and pushed me into reading the sequel because I wanted to know more about the characters. That being said, I had the same problem with The Ship Beyond Time, where I found myself being very bored. I generally like to read about 100 pages a day if I can, and I found myself reading maybe 10 or 20 pages. I was just really not interested in reading it. I found it boring. I was confused about what was happening in the story just because I wasn't into it and I wasn't like absorbing it because I had no interest in it. Another thing that I did not like about this book is Slate as a character. In the first book, I really enjoyed his emotional journey and how he ends the book. But this book starts out with the fallout of his decision from the first book. And I just did not want to read a book about a character that I liked being depressed and uh, seemingly suicidal and also coming down from a uh, drug withdrawal. It just felt pitiful. And I didn't want to read that about him, so any scene where he popped up, I was just sort of like, I don't want to read this. I dropped this book 14 chapters in, which is about 153 pages. Not entirely halfway. If I had to put a percentage on it, I'd say maybe 45% through or somewhere like that. But I just could not get into it. I tried for about a week straight, I want to say, and I just could not get the enthusiasm for it, so I decided I might as well drop it rather than try and force myself through this book that I'm not really going to enjoy anyway, I didn't think. That being said, since it is a book I did not finish, uh, that means in my rating system it is automatically rated as being one star. I really enjoyed the journeys that the characters took in the first book emotionally um, and the story of that, but I wasn't that big of a fan of this sequel, unfortunately. So that is the end of this review. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me talking about a book that I did not enjoy. Kind of weird to say. Um, and I hope to see you on some of my other videos that I post.